you so much for sticking around. Well, we are about a couple days away from the annual Watermelon Festival in Cordell. I am joined by Miss Linda Hawkins, the general manager of Lake Blackshire Resort, to give us some details about the Watermelon Festival that, that's happening in June and also some events that they are actually having at the resort. So thank you so much for joining me. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Awesome. So before we get started with the Watermelon Festival, I want you to kind of just talk to us about what are some of the events that you guys are putting on at the resort? Right now, we have a watermelon scavenger hunt going on. So what that entails, um, each day I am posting a clue on our Georgia Veterans State Park, Lake Blackshear Resort, and Cypress Grill Facebook pages. Um, so it started on May the 27th on Monday. That was clue one. Each day you get a clue. It'll go from now until June the 15th. That will be clue number 20. And each clue has a riddle that will take you to a certain location in the park. Um, when you get to that location, you're going to find a um, piece of paper that you need to take a picture of. Uh, it looks like this and it will um once you take the picture bring it by the visitor center and we will give you a little watermelon slice mm -hmm. and you want to collect all 20 watermelon slices uh, the first person on the 15th to come in with all of the clues all of the watermelon slices uh first place is a 200 dollars cash prize second place is 100 and third place is 50 dollars. so um so much fun yeah uh, the next event we have is going to be June the 15th. We're doing a watermelon cook-off. Our chef, Matt Lamb, will be um, heading this up. So if you want to join, bring a watermelon dish. Um, could be anything, dessert, main dish, um, sauce, anything like that. Bring it to the visitor center, and we will have a judging contest and award prizes for the winners in that. And then our next event is going to be the Watermelon Festival itself, which will be June the 22nd. Wow. Now that sounds very interesting. The Watermelon Cook-Off, I definitely want to be a part of that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. So let's talk a little bit about the Watermelon Festival. So what can people expect this year? Uh, we're going to have a little something for everyone. Uh, we have over 50 arts and crafts vendors. Uh, I think at this time we've got food vendors um, from all walks, we have barbecue, your typical fair food. Uh, we have Chick-fil-A that's going to be coming out and setting up a booth. We have a couple of um, snow cone vendors, um, lemonade, popcorn, just a little bit of everything. So um, won't be any problem getting food while you're here. And then we have a kids zone where you can buy an armband. There's different... Um, activities to do in the kids zone. Um, they have bouncy houses, I think an obstacle course, ax throwing, different items such as that. We have a car show that day and um, we'll also have a child's petting zoo face painting and, and balloon tying. Wow, and so many activities. Yeah. <laughs> so when, where, and what time is the Watermelon Festival this year? It is going to be located here in Georgia Veterans State Park. It goes from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, we do have the parade in town that starts at 8.30. Um, so once you finish, if you want to stop by and see the parade, after the parade is over, drive out and enjoy. It's a $5 park pass fee um, per vehicle. And we have parking in the airfield. The festival itself is just adjacent from that, so a very short walk and um, enjoy the festivities. Awesome. Now, are you guys still looking for vendors? We have actually closed it out. We um, we filled those spots. So at this time it is closed out unless we have cancellations. Gotcha. All right, so where can we go to find more information about the Watermelon Festival um, and a contact, some contact information? Um, the best place to go is the Cordial Crisp Chamber of Commerce website or their Facebook page. Um, that gives you um, an overview of all of the activities. There's more than just what we're hosting here. Different uh, businesses in the community are doing different things during the next several days between now and, and the festival itself. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Linda, for your time. And thank you for giving us those details about the annual Watermelon Festival. 
All right. Thank you for having me. Of course. All right. Well, you guys, we'll have that information posted on our website at WAOB.com. More TNC is coming up right after this.